YouTube! What is going on, y'all? It is your boy, Young Texas, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Hope you're all having a fantastic day today. Today was an absolutely huge day for the world of Call of Duty as we officially got the worldwide reveal of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. We initially knew that this was coming from the recent teaser that we got straight from the developers in which drone footage flew past a shipping crate and printed on the side of that crate was today date which made people assume that today would be the worldwide reveal and it turns out it was. We've now known for a few days that today was officially going to be the date of the worldwide reveal which of course garnered a lot of hype around the Call of Duty community and it quickly became one of the most liked Call of Duty trailers in history. Straight up the fact that this is a Modern Warfare title especially one that's titled Modern Warfare 2 which the original Modern Warfare 2 released in 2009 is arguably the greatest Call of Duty of all all time of course just sharing a name with such an iconic title makes this call of duty one of the most anticipated we have seen in quite some time the trailer that we got today was just the initial reveal there was no real gameplay footage and the campaign and multiplayer reveal trailers are going to come at a later date this just kind of introduced modern warfare 2 officially for the first time to the world however this may not have been a reveal trailer that showed us certain aspects of the game but but it did show us quite a bit and there's a lot to unpack so let's take a look at that one of the very first things we see is a weapon flying through the air and if you freeze frame on that weapon you can clearly see that it is the ACR one of the most iconic weapons from the original Modern Warfare 2 and arguably one of the most iconic weapons in all of Call of Duty. Of course, the ACR is a favorite weapon for many, many players throughout Call of Duty's history and just simply seeing this in the trailer not only garners hype for the ACR itself, but makes you wonder what other weapons are going to be returning. Maybe we're going to see the UMP-45, the SCAR-H, and other weapons just like that. We of course saw the characters that we did see in the initial teaser including Ghost, Soap, Price, Gaz, and Vargas who are probably going to be the main characters in this year's Call of Duty campaign as they make up Task Force 141. Also within this trailer we saw from above what appeared to be High Rise, one of the most iconic maps in Call of Duty history initially released in Modern Warfare 2. High Rise sets players on the rooftops of skyscrapers and it quickly became a fan favorite map and we did think we were going to be getting it back in Modern Warfare 2019, but we did not but it would appear that we are going to be getting it this year with Modern Warfare 2. Not only that, but from this bird's eye view footage, it's quite possible that we actually just got our first look at the brand new Warzone 2 map. It is confirmed that Warzone 2 is in development, but there was no information on a release yet. We had not seen a map outside of any leaks, and we hadn't heard anything from the developers about Warzone 2, and it's quite possible that they snuck in a little teaser for it in today's worldwide reveal trailer. I'm sure that later down the road when we get the official reveal of Warzone 2, we'll be able to confirm whether or not the footage we saw today was in fact a teaser for it, but if you're a betting person, I would definitely bet that it was a teaser for Warzone 2. Outside of the trailer, however, we did receive development about information we already knew about Modern Warfare 2, specifically surrounding the release of the game regarding what additions were going to be available for purchase. The one edition that garnered the most interest was called the Vault Edition, and this is basically your Ultimate Edition and includes lots and lots of in-game content, making it an amazing deal that people are definitely going to want to purchase. The very first thing you're going to be getting in this Vault Edition is going to be the Cross-Gen Bundle because this game is being released on both PS4 and Xbox One as well as PS5 and Xbox Series X, so you're going to be able to get this cross-gen bundle within the Vault Edition, so that if you get it on the old gen consoles and then get a new gen console, you don't have to repurchase the game. You're also going to be getting the Red Team 141 Operators Pack, which is going to give you Operator Skins at launch, and these might be some of the best looking Operator Skins we have seen at the launch of a Call of Duty ever. You're also going to be getting the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault. Now, I'm not exactly sure what this means yet, and Weapon Vault is going to be a new feature.
feature introduced in Modern Warfare 2, but of course, if they're giving you free stuff for a new feature, that's a lot to be excited about. You're also going to be getting the Season 1 Battle Pass and 50 free tier skips absolutely free, so if you didn't already know, this is confirmation that the Battle Pass system will be returning with this year's Call of Duty, and heck, who doesn't want half of the first battle pass absolutely free? You're also going to be getting the Ghost Legacy Pack that is going to be available right now in Modern Warfare and Warzone that is going to give you 10 weapon blueprints and 12 operator skins. Finally, you're going to be getting early access to the open beta for Modern Warfare 2 and although there's no official date for the beta just yet, I would be safe to say that it's going to come maybe around the end of July start of August historically that's when we've seen betas so if history repeats itself we're going to be seeing it around that time as well the campaign and multiplayer reveal is certainly on its way from modern warfare 2 i'm sure those are just over the horizon and we're going to be getting dates for those in the very near future and that's obviously going to show us a lot more in depth into like i said the campaign and the multiplayer experience as well as i'm sure plenty of the other modes and features that are going to be made available in this year's Call of Duty title. One thing to note again, and I've said this before and I'll say it again, remember this is going to be the very first Call of Duty title that has a two year life cycle which makes it a first of its kind Call of Duty so let's get ready for a big year. But yeah guys, that is effectively going to wrap up today's video, I hope you all enjoyed, if you did be sure to drop a like and comment on it down below, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to turn on those notifications so you never miss any of my daily updates. Uploads. For even more from me, be sure to check out the links in the description below to connect with me on all of my social media so you never miss any of my content. Also, for the latest and greatest Call of Duty news, Intel, and so much more, be sure to use the links in the description below to connect with IPC on all of our social medias as well as our website. But other than that, I hope you all have a great rest of your day and that's been it. Peace.